night out for the whole family in the great outdoors, speedway racing. There's plenty of action, plenty of excitement, and as you can see, no shortage of mud and dust, which is all a part of speedway racing's unique charm. And here at the Parramatta City Raceway, outside Sydney, sprint cars are racing. Speedway racing was first introduced to Australia in the 1950s, and since then it's developed a real hardcore of enthusiastic followers. And if you head down to your nearest speedway for a look, you'll see all the regulars arriving early with their blankets and eskies, setting up on the lawn for a front row view. But let's take time out for a second and look at the machine that's creating all the mayhem. It's a purpose-built racing projectile for speedway. Let me tell you about it. 650 horsepower, just over 500 kilograms, and capable of reaching speeds up to 160 kilometres an hour in about three or four seconds. It's an awesome racing device. This is the heart of a sprint car. It's the 372 cubic inch purpose-built Chevrolet V8. In the modern jargon, that's about six litres, and as I said before, just on 650 horsepower. The chassis is a tubular construction, chrome molly material, very, very strong. Other distinguishing features on a sprint car, this enormous wing over the front of the car. It generates aerodynamic downforce, which gives the car grip at the front. Now, up top, another very distinguishing feature, this enormous wing, and that also creates downforce, which gives the car traction. The steering wheel has a quick release mechanism on it so that you can take the wheel on and off to get in and out of the car. There's no gear lever. All you do to put a sprint car in gear is pull this up and turn it and the car is in gear and there's no clutch. So once the action starts, there's no stopping it. It's every man for himself out here in this amazing free-for-all, but these drivers swear by their sport. They'd rather be doing this than anything else. You had an opportunity as a champion motocross rider to probably go into a whole variety of different types of motorsport. Why sprint cars? Basically the thrill. I'm a little bit of a dirt person. I've been involved in dirt for a long time with motocross and off-road motorcycle racing. And when I got involved in, in this sprint car scene, I just had a grin from ear to ear the first time I got in one. I said, that's for me. I've got to do some more of that. This damn thing. Now, as a touring car driver, this thing is about as familiar to me as a spaceship. But let's see if I can keep up with the experts without embarrassing myself too much. Okay, I think I'm finally locked in here, too. So, what's it like out here? Well, let me tell you. When you're strapped into something with no gears that weighs only 500 kilograms, but can churn out 600 horsepower, your heart jumps into your mouth and stays there. And like I said, it makes for a great night out. Come and have a look, it's fantastic fun. There are speedway tracks all over the country and the season runs from October to April each year. Watch out folks, I'm coming through.